Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to create your own fountain pen ink from spare cartridges. So probably if you're into fountain pens, you probably have a lot of spare cartridges that just come with your pens. And if you're also like me, you get all these cartridges and you pretty much just put them aside. You don't use them. Pretty much every single fountain pen that I buy, I end up using with a converter and using my own inks. And so I just start to accumulate all these cartridges over time. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own fountain pen ink from all these cartridges. Now if you take a look, here we have the Lamy cartridges and these are proprietary cartridges. And so you pretty much can't use them with anything else other than Lamy's. Here we have the same thing. We have the carbon black cartridge. Well, actually not carbon. The platinum black uh, cartridges. And again, you pretty much can't use them unless you're using them with those specific pens. So today we're going to create our own fountain pen ink. Now I already started to kind of empty out my first Lamy, blue Lamy ink into this little vial container glass container so that's pretty much what you're going to need if you have all these cartridges that's good but make sure you get a nice container glass container something that uh, is watertight and it won't leak and actually this one is a Winster and Newton um, glass container which had a uh, drawing ink in it and so this is kind of what it looked like it was a Winster and Newton ink, but it dried out. And so I decided to clean it out and use it for this ink. So the pen that I'm gonna be filling up at the end of the video is my Jinhao X850. And this does have a custom nib or an aftermarket nib actually. This is the Kaigalu calligraphy nib, which pretty much is a architect nib. Um, and it's completely empty. I already cleaned this pen out. It's completely empty um, So it's ready to be filled and that's what we're gonna do So we're gonna put this aside for now And like I said, I already put one cartridge blue Lamy cartridge in here and I have three more blue Lamy cartridges and two platinum black inks now make sure that you're not mixing two different type of inks so platinum does make a carbon ink and i actually have it here so this is a platinum carbon ink right here and as you can see it actually says um carbon ink right and so if you're mixing a carbon ink with any of these regular type of fountain pen inks they, there might be some trouble there might be some some reaction between both of the inks and you're probably not going to have a good experience so make sure you try to get the same type of inks um so both of these inks are both their basic this is the basic black um platinum inks and this is that the basic lamy yeah these are obviously from japan J japanese inks and these are german inks but they're pretty much the same style ink so it'll be fine so what are you going to need? Make sure you get some paper towels. Definitely want paper towels. You don't want to be dropping ink. There we go. And so what we're going to be making, obviously, as you can see by the cartridges, we're going to be making a blue black. Hopefully it looks good. This is all the cartridges I have. So that's all I can make right now. Um, and so what I did for the first Lamy cartridge was just pop a little hole so what i like about these lamy ones is that it's just a very uh, thin layer of plastic or film in inside and so it's very easy to just poke a hole inside and then just dump the ink but when it comes to the platinum ones they actually have a little uh metal marble kind of here so what I don't like about the platinums or what kind of worries me is this metal marble that they have and so that when you push it down it kind of rattles in here and that can potentially 
spill ink so we're just gonna see what happens but we're gonna add it as well and uh yeah let's just get started i'm gonna have a little napkin just in case pretty much we're just gonna fill all these that you can't use with any other pen and we're gonna actually be able to use with my Jinha. all right well let's get into it so again like i said you just want to poke a little hole inside there we go the holes in and then you just start squeezing you are gonna need to squeeze the cartridge just because it just doesn't flow out on its own so let me see there we go so you just want to squeeze it as you can see it's already pretty much empty so it was pretty good now make sure you don't get well you try not to get ink on your fingers but sometimes it just happens and so there's a little bit of ink up here as well that I noticed in the Lamy's it just doesn't want to come out. So what you can also do is squeeze that, kind of pinch it, and then it'll release the ink from there, from the top. Yeah, so now it's empty up here as well. And this one is pretty much done. Now after you emptied one out, what can you do? You can either throw them away or reuse them, but since they're all squeezed already i'm just gonna throw them away but you can reuse them and use a little needle needle to kind of fill it up with but i would just throw them away so there's one we have two more blues and two blacks so it's pretty easy again you're just gonna pop the seal there we go and just squeeze it's pretty simple the biggest thing is just finding the right container so that's why I'm actually using an ink container and again I'm gonna pinch the top of the Lamy cartridge just to release that ink from the top there we go and like I said if you actually wanted to possibly reuse these I wouldn't squeeze so hard I wouldn't squeeze with your nails try to bend it so hard you can reuse these and I have reused these actually just using the needle and just filling it up again um, but just make sure you just don't squeeze it so hard you don't bend it if you want to reuse it if anything for me I would probably want to reuse these platinum cartridges just because the converters are like $15 for the platinum converters they are so expensive and I rather not buy platinum converters so these I would probably actually want to reuse but these are pretty cheap i'll just throw these away and so this is the last blue pop the seal and dump the ink squeeze the top of the lamy converter i mean cartridge sorry there you go it's empty and as you can see it's it shouldn't be messy it's very simple all right there we go and so these are the ones that I'm kind of worried about because they have the little marble that I was talking about earlier. But we're going to try to do the same thing that I did, kind of like pop it. But this time I'm going to do it with a little um, paper towel just so that if it does want to pop back. Oh, I think the ink is already coming out and it's still not. Yeah, so I don't know, even, I don't know. Is this a good idea? Is this not a good idea? That's the real question. Let's see if the ink would come out. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to really pop the seal. Hopefully I don't make a mess. There we go. All right, there's no mess. And so what I'm gonna do is kind of make sure that the marble stays down, then I'm gonna squeeze to prevent the marble from uh well okay so this black one this uh platinum is definitely way harder to squeeze than the lamy ones um what i'm gonna do is just kind of hold the little marble while i hopefully drop the ink in here hopefully yeah i don't know i might have to just cut these completely cut them open because the ink doesn't look like it wants to flow out of here 
So there we go. Yeah, you have to really squeeze these things. You're gonna probably have to, yeah, squeeze them extremely hard. So that's the trick with these. Make sure you just squeeze the heck out of them. So I'm gonna try to just bend it. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that seems to be pretty empty, if you ask me. Maybe one more drop. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty empty. I don't think I can get any more, but I'm pretty happy with that. Grab this. And completely break the seal. There we go. Whoa. The seal is broken. And then just really, really squeeze it hard, I guess. That's the only way. Again, just want to show you guys what's going on. All right, let's see. I'm just gonna bend it. Oh, so you can, so, okay. So see, we're learning things together. This can come off. So that means you can take this whole piece with the little marble in there. Wow, I didn't even know that. So, okay, so there's two pieces to, I guess there's three pieces to the platinum cartridges one is the top little plastic piece right here and this piece contains the little marble you can actually completely pop out remove this front plastic piece with the marble and then just have the i guess the the little uh back piece to the platinum converter now what i'm gonna do is actually drop that little marble marble in there and that's going to help me actually mix up that ink and now I can completely actually properly drain the whole back piece of the converter wow I didn't know that there you go and like I said just squeeze it all out and now it should be way way easier it's still very hard plastic but but there it is. It doesn't look like it's threaded, so it is just pressure fit, and then you just remove it. It did feel kind of uh, not secure. I think I just dropped ink. Okay, well this is now empty completely. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I think there was ink on the outside that I spilled a little bit. All right. That's clean. So now what I'm going to do is completely shut this. Now that it's closed, we're gonna give it a little shake. And remember the little platinum marble is in here now. So that'll also help it shake. It looks pretty much like a black black. So it might've been good that I lost a little black because who knows? I mean, I wanted a black either way, so. All right. So the ink is done. This is your custom ink. And everybody's gonna obviously have a different color ink because we don't all have the same cartridges, obviously. Um. So let's just see what we can get. Here we have a piece of paper that we're going to be writing on. Um, before we do that, we're going to fill up this pen with ink. So here we go. Here we go. And so what you want to do is completely um, twist the converter all the way to the bottom. You just wanna get rid of all that air. You don't wanna push air into the ink. So that way now the air is completely removed. Go ahead and open your new custom ink. There we go. And we're gonna fill it up. Let me just move this out the way. Bring this back and fill it up. 
So make sure you submerge the nape completely in the ink that's submerged. Okay. So I'm gonna have to tilt the bottle a little bit to get the ink. Still not wanting to come up for some reason. Maybe there's not enough ink. All right, something is definitely going on. What's going on? All right, we're in the ink. Okay, so we're gonna try a whole different tactic. We're gonna do a whole different thing now. Because the nib doesn't wanna draw up the ink, what we're going to have to do is clean this off for now. We're gonna remove the converter completely from the pen, okay? And you're gonna wanna fill up the converter instead of with the nib on. And the same thing is gonna apply. You wanna submerge it and then draw the ink up. There we go. That was way easier. So if you don't have too much ink, um, that's what I suggest you do. Just make sure you put it back on. There we go, it clicked. And so since I already submerged this nib, it probably already has ink. But what you can also do is kind of push a little bit of ink, a droplet maybe. There we go. And so now there's ink, and I know there's ink. It's saturated, and I'm ready to write. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Okay, close it up. The pen is ready. All right guys, uh, so we're gonna finish it off with a very quick uh, writing sample of the color we ended up with. So, let's see what we have. Um, the ink actually looks kind of black, but after looking at it a little closer, you kind of get that blue kind of tint to it. Um, it's mostly kind of black, but I do want to say it does have a little bit of blue. Well, it does have blue, but visually can't really see a lot of blue, but I know it's there because I obviously mixed it. So it has four times Lamy and Lamy blue. And it has two times platinum. Platinum black. All right, I mean, overall, the ink flow is there. The color is there. It's not clogging up at all. I went from having just plain Lamy blues plain platinum blacks and now we've created a little unique one of one inks and um we have a lot we obviously have a lot of ink ink flow is there awesome so if you want to check out the nib which is the kaiga loop calligraphy nib i'm going to leave a link in the description as well as the jinhao x850 so if you want to check them out you can go ahead and do that as well. Thanks.